Some people think this was a desperate video idea from the first episode, but many will agree with me that there is something cool about an engine startup sound. There are several ways to kick an engine into life, rather than just an electrical impulse. Let's check some together. DT-75 The DT-75 was a Soviet-made tracked tractor made for a large variety of use, like a bulldozer. It had a four-cylinder, four-stroke diesel SMD-14 that was launched in this vehicle with 75 horsepower and ended having 100 horsepower, combined to a seven-speed gearbox. An interesting thing about this 6.3-liter engine is the fact that it did use a pony engine as a starter, a single-cylinder, two-stroke gasoline motor which could have been started electrically. Mech Air Start An electrical unit for a big diesel engine startup needs to be really powerful and thus heavy to ensure a start even during freezing conditions. It requires two or three more batteries on board and a bulky electric starter motor, but with the use of an air start system, a lot of the downsides are non existent anymore. It only needs a pressure tank a pump when the pressure is low, and all the plumbing to use the power of air rushing into cylinders. Mac was using this system for a long period of time, ever since the 1950s, for trucks like Mac B or Mac R series, with inline 60s and V8s, providing a more reliable startup compared to an electrical unit. Riedel starter. Mounted in an intake of a Junkers Jumo 004 and BMW 003 jet engines of the World War II, this Riedel engine functioned as an auxiliary power unit. It was developed by a guy called Norbert Riedel as an aircraft engine starter motor, being a flat twin cylinder two stroke. 10 horsepower engine. It was an extremely short stroke engine with a 2 to 1 bore stroke ratio. Schwetzen ASH-62. This engine is a major power plant of Soviet aircraft fleet, being a further development of the Schwetzen M25, a licensed Wright R1820 cyclone. Besides Russia, it was also built in China and Poland, with all 40,000s produced. It featured a new two-speed centrifugal supercharger, better breathing air intake, and for a startup, there was an incredibly noisy inertia starter. This type pre-rotates, energizes a flywheel by hand or electrically, and when the energy is released, the engine fires up. John Deere 730. The Model 730 was sold as an all-fuel, 
gasoline, LPG and diesel tractor, but the major portion of the sales were diesels without an official horsepower rating. Up to 60% of the diesels were sold with a 24 volt electrical starter system, but the rest had a pony gasoline V4 engine as a starter. This was a costier option, needing more time for an actual startup of the main unit, and basically meant another engine that needed to be cared for. But it only needed a 6 volt system for a pony motor startup, and since the liquid cooling was shared, it also preheated the main unit, making it start even during cold winters. CQ Start. CQ Start is a company that specializes in spring starters that are made in various models, from small units able to start a 1 liter up to big systems for 50 liter engines. This is a pre engaged type of a starter, which means that the ring gear is engaged before the energy is released to start the engine, unlike the initial starter where the pinion is moved forward after the energy release. It's funny that I made such a video one year ago and many thought that I'm running out of ideas. Well, I'm here one year later and still making interesting videos you guys very much like. Thank you very much for all the support and I hope I will not run out of ideas. Thank you again and see you in the next one. Cheers! <laughs>